Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to my new channel. It's just going to be uh, basically a channel about me trying to grow a small account. Um, I deposit $100 into this Weeble account. And it's Friday, July 3rd. So we can't trade today because um, markets are closed for the holiday tomorrow. But I just wanted to start my first video on how I set up my trading page so this is basically my layout well I have two layouts I have this and I have this one but this is basically just you know a bigger screen with less well the charts bigger with less uh, things here and there like I don't have the um, time and sales up here for let's see so I do like to use the screen more because I have two charts set up. So I'll go over just everything I have set up here. And then I will go over my settings. So basically I just have the time and sales. Which I just like to keep up here in the corner. I'm a small chart that I either run the one minute or five minute on. Whatever I'm not running on this one, I'm either running the one minute or five minute on each one. And sometimes I'm looking, you know, more zoomed out at the one hour or, or the daily. But, um, so I run these two charts, my positions and my working orders. And then I just keep my trading set up over on, over here to the right. For level two... If you download the Thinkorswim app on your phone and set up an account, you can get level 2 for free. So I can't show you that, but I do have that on my phone. So I run the level 2 on my phone right next to my computer because I'm just using a laptop for now. I'm fairly new to trading. I started with a, um, with a Robinhood account a couple months ago. And basically right when the market really sold off hard in March. And I bought a couple stocks on there. Um, it's There's really not much for data on there or indicators. So it's hard to really trade during the day. So I have a couple long-term stocks I bought long-term positions on there so that I'm just leaving there and I'm not using Robinhood anymore I am strictly using Weeble I tried with the Thinkorswim but it's a little complicated this is a little more straightforward easier to set up and easier to read and I like the layout of the buy and sell area over here a lot better than Thinkorswim it's a little slower. I mean, you can get in and out of trades. I feel faster on Thinkorswim. But for me, I'm not trading like crazy anyways. I mean, so I basically have... I'm just starting easy. I deposited $100. And I got two free stocks that were worth... Let's see. Account performance stuck you know so I got Levi which I sold for $14 and I think this one which I sold for three dollars and thirty cents so between those two Let's just say dollar eighty six. Oh, that's what I made on it. No, I should have made full amount on that. But anyways, other than those two stocks, I have basically grown this account. I would say daily P and L. Let's see where is it at? Year to date. So forty nine dollars. So I grew 50% since
maybe a month. So in one month, a 50% return on $100, it's pretty good. So let me get back to my trade. Oh, and the paper trading is actually pretty decent on here too. I mean, you could only do limit or market for the order type. You can't put in stop losses or you can't. It's, it's very basic. So it's hard to really get an understanding of the actual trade because when you go to the um, order type on your real account you can do a limit market stop or stop limit so it's hard to go from the paper trading to the real trading just because you can't I just wish that they would put these order types on the paper trading so you can get a more realistic um, idea of when you're practicing um, a couple tips, if no one knows this, under the settings, I don't use hotkeys, it's under trade, order preference, this show order confirmations, ordinary orders, you want to keep that off, unless you want to confirm your order, which is an extra step when you're placing a real order. Um, so when you, I can't do it now, but let's go back to the trade. So when you click place order, um, if that's clicked on, then you'll get another window that opens saying, please confirm this order. But if you have this clicked off, your order will just automatically go through. And I can't sell short because I don't have $2,000 in my account yet. I'm going to slowly add to this account. Um, I plan on eventually adding maybe $1,000 once I could see that I'm profitable on a $100 account. Which I have been so far. I mean, I've had some some red trades but overall I'm profitable so far I just do one trade at a time you know I don't try to open up this trade and then go to another thing while this is still open and buying and selling two stocks at the same time I don't do that I just focus on one trade at a time sometimes I'll split up my account so I can trade over the course of two days in a row but usually I've just been using my whole account um, just to buy and sell and make a profit in that day or take a loss in that day for example let's see my trades oh and so I've been trading mostly penny stocks I mean they're a little risky but if you just take your time and look for the right setups then you, there's always there's always a way to make money on, on anything just like there's a way to lose money but you have to definitely manage your risk set in stop losses and you know don't let your emotions get the best of you and sell when you need to sell just don't don't hold thinking that something's gonna go up when you're just gonna get deeper in the hole um and that's basically it so for my settings other oh and if you don't know to, to link all these together so say that i'm trading but then i want to see the spy the s p 500 on this screen i can see how there's apple up there i can set up the spy and watch that as well or if you want to link them together you just have them all set at the same group I'm just trying to think of um, stuff to go over that I had a hard time finding on YouTube when I was trying to really learn this um, this broker I'm trying to think of other stuff settings 
So I keep the advanced chart on this crosshair data style. So this was another one that I had to figure out on my own. Um, if you keep this fixed, no, I don't want that. If you keep this fixed, then it's going to show the open, the high, the low, the and the close, and all your indicators up here. So this gets in the way when you're trading. Sometimes you want to keep this over to the left and. You know, you just want this in a certain area. Um, sometimes this gets in the way. So, I didn't know that. It took me, a, like, two weeks to figure out that you can actually get rid of this by just turning it off. And bam, it's gone. Because I really don't need to know that. And I also, I like this chart as clean as possible. So, let me see what else. You can have it floating too, which I don't really like. That really gets in the way. So I keep it off. Um, I keep all this stuff checked. Extended hours, high and low price. I like the overlap volume. I don't know why that was even on. I don't like that on. Show flashing light for trading hours. K line gap. That's something new. That's if, that's this gap right here. When the stock gaps up, if it goes to fill the gap, you can actually see it, which is nice. Corporate actions, I keep all that on. And then um, for trade, open orders, I keep that on. Um, oh, and then the axis. Last price. Last indicator value, values. So I keep this off because I don't like all of this. That'll show any indicators you have on your VWAP or your moving average or your EMA. Any, the more indicators you have on, the more numbers are going to be floating around over here to the right. So I keep that off. And that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, over anything that you know questions on anything that i might have not went over and i could help someone out with just feel free to drop anything in the comment section i'll read all the comments and i'll try to answer everything i mean this is my first this is going to be my first video so monday i'm going to record my actual trade that'll be my first trading video and uh Let's just try to grow this small account. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to have people join a chat room or do any of that stuff. I'm just, you know, here to try and record my account and possibly growing it or blowing it up. But I'm going to, I'm going to, um, manage my risk the best I can so it doesn't happen oh and one more thing I don't have these screeners set up so the watch list is pretty basic you know I put some stocks on here that I watch every day and I don't use this for anything so the markets a lot of people a lot of people download or pay for um, the scanners so for me if you go to markets and then you go to top gainers this is actually better on your phone so if you are under if you download the Weeble app and then you go to markets if you scroll down on markets you can see top gainers pre-market and then you click view all so that will have, I mean this, you can go to all, this shows you right here. So this was Thursday's pre-market top, uh, top gapping stocks percentage wise. And here they all are. I like looking at it on my phone better because you can click through pre-market after hours, 
five minute, one day, five day, one month, three month, and the year for top gainers. And then you could scroll through percentage or price, but I like to just go through percentage. So in the morning, I'll pull this up. I'll go to top gainers and then I'll click all and that will give me pre-market what's gapping up and then I'll go from there figure out what I want to do for the day but that's basically it so I'm gonna upload this video today's Friday July 3rd and I hope everyone's having a good three-day weekend and enjoy the holidays and I'll See you guys next week.